The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate the growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 368. You get the Nasdaq off 86. S&P's off 32. Gold. Gold up by $23 trading at 1553 an ounce. Silver. Look at that bid in silver. 64 cents, folks. That is a monster. 19 on the dot. It's that, got it for you. That is something else, man. Notes and bonds. That's the one that's really something else. I heard the update when you, you were doing the update. Quick, man. Things you were right in the fast. middle of it. Yeah. You get the 10 year up 19 ticks, 132.10. The 30 year up a full point plus four ticks, 166.11. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 100 in ticks, trading 98.960. That's at that's a new, not new highs, not all time highs, but it definitely broke out from last week. Um, Euro. Euro is at 109. The yen is at 105.76. The pound is at 120 to 1 U.S. dollar. And that ISM number came in, yeah, and that just the took up? the market apart. There you there. go. So that right. was, you know, I usually take a little time, of course, getting ready, getting the charts ready for the update. Yeah. Man, everything changed right at 10 o'clock on the dot when this ISM cam came out. So first time in three years you have manufacturing contracting. Uh, that number, so you have the Institute of Supply Management's Purchasing Managers Index falling to 49.1 in August, yep. weaker than the forecast. I believe they were looking for 51.2, um, and figures below 50, as you were explaining, yep. signal the manufacturing economy is generally contracting. Exactly. And, um, There's so the big R word, folks. First time in three years. Yeah. And the market reacting to that dramatically, man. I think, do I have the yield? So that, that Look at was, this. So that's the yield of the 10-year we're looking at. I uh, came on the air prepared to say that we had had a 1.46 handle earlier in the session, but we were back above 1.5. You always got to be on the fly when you're doing live television and analysis, and boom, just like that, we're sitting now at a 1.4456. And, and the way this is trading, folks, okay, so picture, and happy Labor Day to everyone, happy New Year, happy everything. <laughs> uh, because Summer's over, summer's, get ready. Yeah, because the way this is trading, okay, so picture, when you see the month of August, this was quite a bar, the month of August, we went from 2.05 to 1.4. That's like unheard of. That Not is, unheard of, no, but yeah, almost. I, it you know it I mean? really is. So now we're, we're, we're basically starting off the month and we're gunning now for the 1.31. We might get there then by 11 a.m. by the end of the bull bear trading and, hour, man. And, and guess what? I think it's going to blow it apart because what happens is that when you come into swing points, whether they're highs or lows, and you come in with, I call it conviction, okay? Like this, you don't lose the power like right away. <laughs> it just doesn't dissipate. You and know what I mean? Talk about starting September off with a bang, man. You know, it's like boom, just like that. We're 30 minutes in the trading day. You get an ISM for the first contraction of three years, and right. you see the yield drop seven basis points in in seven seconds. Yeah. And what happens, of course, is that you know the, the we know that if we take a look at the um, yeah, where's the curve? There, where's the curve, baby? Now, now everyone's going to have to really start paying attention to the curve because this is the second. You know, I wrote an article for the that ISM years ago. Okay, yeah. And the this f five zero is a big number. When you go uh, below yes. five zero, it's a problem, it's folks. Contraction. A contraction. Yeah. You go. You know, we always wanted above five zero, sure. and we stayed below five zero for a long period of time. Yeah. You know, years ago. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when you take that, then we take this. Uh, curve. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're not inverted right now. No, so, I can see that. Two yeah. year, I mean, it's almost call it flat, right? Two yeah. years sitting 1.442. Right. Ten years sitting 1.444. Right. Um, you're within yeah. two one thousandths right. of uh, parity between the two. And but I bet what happened here, let's watch before, this. Before oh, we yeah, jump away, yeah. I just want to say it's interesting, though, because the two tens, what everyone is really talking about, yes. when they say yield inversion, right? And you can have different yield inversions. Oh, yeah. And nobody talks about that the three, the five, the seven, huge inversions. Yes. But they look to uh, the tenure when they're talking about just to keep on your radar because no, no. nobody even mentions that. That is interesting. And they're not as they're not as big markets, okay? So that that's why it's not as reliable. Right? Yeah. When we talk about the reason why you really should listen to the yield 
and the bond market What's is because the amount of money that goes into them. Right. And that's because the amount of money that goes into a two year, the amount of money that goes into a 10 year is mammoth. So there's, uh, yeah. there's greater it, assurances it, that that market is where it should be, supply and demand, so forth. Still, remarkable when you get the seven year sitting at 1.387 and the two year sitting at 1.44. That's, 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 that's quite an that's inversion. Serious. Yeah. So gold, gold's caught a bid, you know, and well, continues to catch a bid. You know, this won't back off. Now, we have divergence for sure. I mean, the dollar's at highs. Yes. But guess what? That's not stopping gold. That's you know, reading we, your gold report today, you know, man. Totally. We, we, we go over to that dollar and we take a look at it. What you're going to see, now, we broke topside with light volume. And, you know, we'll see, you know, bottom line. Look at that pullback, though. I didn't I'll, realize we made it all the way to 99.330. Yeah, and so watch if I do this. The, the, the next level, this is what's so wild in the, in the dollar, folks. But yeah, I'll give you my bigger take on this. It's, okay, DX1. So it's 103. That is the next swing point. It's like, man, oh, man. You know, it's like, really? <laughs> like 103.815. Okay. And that is January of 17. Yeah. So like when you're just doing something technically like that, you have to really say that, hey, listen, man, we've been... We, we broke out of this area. Now, it's not a monster breakout, but we were in this area going all the way back to like October of last year. So your next logical space would be up there. Sure. Now, my take is that we'll get a failure, but that's the next logical space. That's it like, makes sense, man. And, and evidently, I, did, I just want to, we're sitting, I mean, in my space, 100.60. So yeah. that's going back December 15. Right. We're really going back, man. That's that's uh, when Obama was president, right? No, yeah. 14. Uh, no, yeah, Obama was president as a man. Yeah. Things are crazy. Because, yeah, there's your November when things went a little haywire. Of course, market's reacting, but we got to go all the way back to there, 100.60, 100.270. So we're going to come up to that level real soon. But, man, we got nothing in the way after that. That's pretty intense, man. Yeah. Some of the high of, well, yeah, let's go to the Dow first. I know you're telling me about Boeing. Well, I, and American Airlines came out. And oh, they cut us off, man. Yeah. The market's moving too quick. Well, I'm reconnecting. Yeah, let's see. I'll tell you, there we go. Okay, I think we're back. Go for it. So, uh, Boeing, right? Let's see what's yes. happening with them first. Yeah, so uh, news out here that regulators might not approve the 737 MAX until possibly December. Um, and that, of course, is a big deal anytime, but that is even bigger when you talk about uh, holiday travel, so forth. Look at um, that, too. MAX 737, likely the biggest insurance payout. Yeah, I'd assume so. I, we're, we're, uh, Second one. Right here? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, who's got the reinsurance on that? <laughs> yeah, so the insurance payout on the beleaguered Boeing 737 MAX aircraft after two crashes, claimed 346 lives, will likely be the biggest ever, S&P Global Rating said Tuesday. So you have the director, um, a director with S&P, telling a press conference, the twin crashes. Let's see, where's the number? Where's the number? Um, of course, worst disaster in history of aviation insurance. And it should be, because it seems like it's completely gross negligence across almost oh, yeah. willful negligence. Um, besides the accidents, insurers and reinsurers must also cover the costs of grounding the aircraft, yeah. which will rise the longer it lasts. Boeing has uh, repeatedly been forced to push back, today included, yeah. push back again, the expected clearance of the aircraft. And let's see, so many are now fixing December as the most probable date of the plane to resume flying. And we'll be able to talk about the cost when the airplane airplanes begin to fly, but clearly that is going to cost money, so they don't even know. No, because uh, it depends on how long we're going out, right. right? Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 413, NASDAQ off 92, S&P's off 32. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down at 380. Nasdaq's off 85. S&P's are at 20, off 28. And uh, we, had a, we had a good, uh, uh, um, not a question, a question analysis uh, comment, yeah, right? Uh, in the den. And what it was is that uh, how much of the ISM number is uh, Boeing related? So we actually Googled it. Um, so in April, folks, uh, they, were, they were pushing out 52 a month. Since April, they've been pushing out 42 a month. So, you know, that's uh, it's 10 planes a month, no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, but as you said, the, what would end up happening, the analysis, folks, was coming at 51.5 anyway. Yeah, the expected number of right. the ISM, maybe 51.2. Right. right. They already knew those numbers were right. going to be in for Boeing. So right. nonetheless, it comes in at 49.1 for the ISM. Right. So... There's more. There's something going else on in there. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something else in there. When you look for the first time yeah. in three years, but it right. is probably a hit because every plane, man, mammoth, M hundreds of millions money. of dollars in manufacturing, right? Big money. We take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness, and Boeing's the big one. Minus 83 points in Boeing, Goldman 41, the United Health 35, Apple 28, Caterpillar 22. Uh, inside the uh, NDX 100. We take a look at it, and you have the strength. Alta Salon, which got oh, smoked. quite a pop for Alta. No, yeah, I say it sarcastically. I got smoked last yeah. week. They were up at 337, um, I think, Alta before yeah. that. They're sitting at 240 still. Yeah. You got uh, XL uh, Energy uh, up 89 cents. 0.89%. 0.89%, sorry. Uh, Land Research is up 7 tenths. What's going on in Macau, man? It's. Uh, the, the Macau's action. Macau's down. Those, yep. big, those when, big Chinese whales getting hit by the economy? Very possible, man. Oh, right? yeah. You talk about the trade wars. If you're a, a mammoth oh, yeah. whale in China, whew, maybe you don't have the. Uh, maybe now's not oh, the you're time. You're not going to spend it. Maybe now's exactly. not the time to go risk $10 million right. at the uh, back rat tables. For the weekend. Yes, <laughs> right. Seriously. You, you got wind down 4.9%. Xilinx off 33 That's going to be the, the chips are getting hit because you got Huawei saying that the government, our government's setting their employees up. Okay. Uh, Qualcomm is down 3 percent ADI is down three. Let's go over to win. Yeah. Because this it's quite a haircut, so man. Five yeah, percent. The, the numbers came out last night. Okay. And a look at this. So this is right at those lows. This is man. dangerous, man. Oh, yeah. One oh. What's that? Yeah. yeah. One oh two. Right around. Yeah. One oh two thirty eight. So. 
Where are we in context? Yeah, the next one would be 50. All right. Yeah. It's sticking it's, out, man. It is sticking out. There's no doubt about that. It's amazing. That. That's so, the low of 2015 we're going back to. Let's see. So, ooh, that was the big number. See, Macau goes up and down like crazy. Yeah. Down 8.6. How are those whales <laughs> running at the table, man? That's I all mean, that matters, it is, right? right? Yeah. It's, I mean, when you're betting, poof, yeah. $100,000 US to a million dollars a hand, Sometimes the luck of the deck is going to make or break uh, a, a, a revenue stream on the quarter, which is remarkable. And as long as you stay alive, as, as long as the house stays alive, they'll win in the long run. But, man, there's going to be some, as they call it, variance in that in that wins and losses column. No doubt. Yeah. So, Silva. Take a look at Silva, folks. This doesn't is, stop, This is man. impressive. Yeah. I mean, this, for Silva to move uh, 66 cents in a day, and you know, if we go back three months, it was 15 bucks, and now 19. <laughs> And what's sticking out like a sore thumb here, it's finally going to go for it. It took Silver a long time to get going, but this $21 level uh, up at this 2016 is game. And I like how it's barreling into it. Okay. 2109. Okay. And you can see, you know, it wouldn't take too many days hey, to be there. We keep popping 70 cents a day, man. Right. We'll be there in two days. And, you know, what you have here, folks, is that this is, that's the level that gold took out a couple of months ago. Okay. Uh, you know, so cool. it's going to be really interesting, you know, how silver approaches this thing. Yes. You know? Yes. And can we, for context, put, uh, can we oh, add yeah, the gold yeah. contract yeah. on here? Yeah. GC1, um, maybe? Yeah. Yep. Let's see how we're looking when you compare the two. Always interesting. And then what? Uh, okay. So pretty interesting, right? So you have gold. If you hit it one more time, that will get rid of it, I think. Maybe that one? There, there we, we go. go. So this goes back comparing them from September of 09, basically. Yeah. So there's going to be some differences here in that you have silver actually looks like from 20, 2009 to 2011. Look at that. Silver was the giant. It was a rocket. Right? Yeah. So that's where if you, if you started this chart from 2011, gold would be much more of a high performer, right? But still yeah. interesting because you had silver really come out of the gate, made it up to that almost $50 price point, right? Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. Now, the gold is gold, easy enough. The yeah. silver is the white. And so you're sitting with gold <laughs> at about 1560, 1555. Silver's at 1886. If silver was on parity with gold, you would have silver up at almost uh, twenty-five dollars right wow. now. Yeah. Now the other flip side of that is, if you had gold, oh yeah, come back, back down. To silver, yeah, you would be back down at about eleven sixty. Um, now that's going back a decade. No, right? I know. So it's always interesting if we started this chart going back about eight years. Yeah. Uh, how that would differ, but pretty interesting stuff. That's, that's there's no doubt. Go man. for it. Yeah. That's. Uh, Huge, and, huge differences. Yeah. Huge. And that's with the dollar still at highs. Yes. You know, so this whole, you know, this, the negative interest rate, folks, is a monster deal for the metals Wrap market. Wrap your head around there's that no, one, There's yeah. no doubt about it. I mean, yeah. you know, we, we look over in Europe right now. I mean, it's devastation. Oh. In fact, excuse me, folks, the, uh, I was listening to this analyst, and all the European banks, all of them, are like at... Not only at lows, but they're at lows for, like, for, for a long period of time. Okay. And, it, and it totally makes sense because they're in negative interest rate. How do you make money as a bank if, right. if you're not making any yield? And in Germany, what they're thinking of doing, and this is what some of this article was about, that they're thinking of making it illegal that the banks could actually charge you money for deposits. They haven't gone through yet, but they're thinking of putting a bill in okay. that the bank cannot charge you to hold their money. Okay. Now, now then the banks would be really what toast. What do you do then? Exactly, because because they, ha they, they can't give the money to anyone else without losing money, and then they're saying, well, you can't take deposits unless you pay them something. So I don't know. I'll have to spend some time, lock myself oh, in a closet to understand how that one works out. I can't wait to, I can read something that is just yeah, case analysis Coherent everywhere, right. that I can understand. Right. You know, I, I just... I, no, yeah, you're you know, not the only one. No, I think the whole world's like that. the whole world, exactly. There's no, there's no doubt. And they they, they don't know, like, how does it turn? How do you go from the negative to the positive? Like, what kind of catalyst would make that happen? And saying, you know, the, the, a lot of the talk is, so where do you put your money right now, right? So you used to put your money in bonds for safety. Right. The only reason... Not the only reason, right? A major reason you're buying bonds right now yes. is for capital appreciation. Exactly. So you're now in a market where you're only buying bonds to trade them.
to invest in the price of a bond. And bond players don't do that. Irregardless exactly. of yield. Exactly. Um, like the TLT, for instance, right? Right. Uh, we'll pull up the chart of the TLT. All right. You want to talk about a gangbuster August. Right. You come into August 1st, you have the TLT sitting at 131. Wow. You're sitting at 148. You just made $17 on 131. Right. If you make $13, that's 10%. So you're making in a, month. in a month capital appreciation. Now, keep in mind, folks, you think you're safe, right? You buy the TLTs, you're buying bonds. Right. This, if we ever, and I don't think it would happen, but if you ever got a pop back to 2% tenure, oh, yeah. you're losing. You're going from 148 down to 131, you're losing more than 10 to 12% in a month in of your capital. Market. Talk about safety, not right. so much. So things are changing. No. And that's a long-term bond. That's a long-term bond. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 405, NASDAQ off 89, S&P's off 29. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 360. Nasdaq's up 75. S&P's down 25. So let's go check out this oil contract. We got uh, action everywhere, man. We, there's no doubt, man. And this is uh, a one-way road. 52.94. And, you know, there's no doubt that, yeah, the 
Dorian, well, and please say some prayers and send white light to those folks in Dorian. That's like a, in the Bahamas, a monster that is not even moving, folks. And you as know? I mean, stay safe on the coast, man. Oh, you know, yeah. You're gonna get the Carolinas up there. I know we got listeners up there, man. Some of yeah. that storm surge really might be intense, just because right now it's moving at one mile an hour. It's amazing. Isn't that? A, I mean, it's um, amazing. It is. So, so it didn't go in the Gulf, right. okay? And the real question is, is that does this just go down because we still have too much oil? Uh, does yeah. it go down because they decided that okay, the Gulf's not going to get hit? And it, you know? it, I think I think it's probably everything, right? You're yeah. saying, and you know, you got to not 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 to no pun intended, perfect storm in in against oil, as in the Gulf isn't going to get hit at all. Yeah, so the ISM numbers down, right? And then you have um, the first day of the new tariffs kicking in. World economy oh, was, right. so that's kind of what that's kicked right. off. You got new September, first trading day, I should say, of September. New new tariffs going into place. That's right, 5% on oil. That's right. Um, or is that going to be in December? Forget but, which but one. It's, it's, it's either be, way, world be economy, world yeah. economy wise, right. you, you slowing. Got, right. Slowing. Um, because it started at about 2 in the morning. You were sitting right at $55 on the dot for the whole overnight session, kind of where we were hanging out for the most part. Um, yesterday, you had oil markets open, even on Labor Day. Yeah. Um, but man, you, you just go back to where we were. We were sitting at, you know, this is Friday. We're sitting at 56.50. Shave three dollars and fifty cents off the price of that by the time you're back in your saddle on Tuesday morning. Amazing. Yeah. Get over to the XLE. We take a look at that, and you're going to see this is going to be the first one that's down to that December swing low. Yeah. Okay, so that's 53.36. Okay. We made it to 55.55 last week, and you can see the expansion of volume. So. You still have sellers out here. Yes. And what's intriguing, you know, this one here is also a high volume low to it, forty nine ninety three. Yeah, so call it fifty bucks, right? Yeah. Right there. Right. And I'll sell with nice, the nice even number. Yeah. And the question is gonna be, how does it hit it? Does it hit it with velocity? Uh, you know. Yeah. Cause there's no doubt that even today, the volume, I think, will be a little light today. Let me just look at this yeah, for a second. Yeah, let's see. Is everyone back from uh, Cape Cod and the Hamptons? They, are they back? They, they are. But what normally happens is that it takes about a day to get the thing going. Sure, yeah. right. 175 million. I'm There's not sure There's still some traffic that's... on Tuesday morning after yeah, Labor Day into is. the office. There is. And There's then, traffic's Monday night. And then we have the aspect of uh, just the stomp. So 21 yeah. million. I mean, we'll see as you're related. I'll see. We're going to get some volume in the, in the spies, though. Okay. Yeah, 21 million. So, you know, our man Steve Rhodes, he was on vacation. He's yeah. uh, struggling a little bit with his, getting his flight back, right? He's right. on the east coast of Florida. So, um, yeah, he's not going to be flying in there today. His program may not be uh, live. He may be doing it remote. We're not quite sure just yet. But, you know, people, same deal, you know? I mean, you have uh, people you know as well trying to make it back to Florida. And it's not just Florida flights, that's the point, you know, I mean, this, yes. this reverberates around the country. You're right. seeing it up in the Northeast um, just because so many flights impacted, so many, they have to reschedule, they have to cancel something this strong. And then you have the effect where it's not just something that comes across Florida. You're dealing with something that's going to make its way up the entire coast. So I only imagine how that plays into... Oh, All scheduling. Of, yeah, <laughs> where you don't want those planes. How are you? I mean, <laughs> can you imagine that war room of planes no. trying to, you know, you got Delta, JetBlue, American, yeah. trying to, Southwest, trying to figure out, hold on, we can't have any planes along the entire East Coast. Exactly. I mean, we'll pull up the cone at some point, folks, because... It's remarkable that, and thank God that and it's, it's so close. I was to gonna the say, coast. thank God it's at least 50 miles off. Right. Because if it was 50 to 100 miles to the west, it would just be running straight over land right up. Buzz the, Yes. Big buzz off. So, you know, look at this 30. So the 30 year, folks. Okay. You know, this thing, we're up a point plus four ticks. And you can just see this thing is charging forward, man. So, I mean, it's it's a it's a clean chart, and you know if this thing breaks this high with volume, I don't see it happening today. But uh, it's what one sixty. Better give us some time, man. You know, it could be. Yes. We were within seven ticks. Yeah, one sixty six twenty five. Yeah. And you need uh, four hundred twenty seven thousand contracts. Now we'll get the contracts. Yeah, look this at that is, already. We're two thirty nine right yeah. now. It, you'll get those contracts, and yes. so if we do, let's do it this way. I think it's 170 something is the all time high. Yep, you got it. Yeah, 177. Now, watch what's happening here. We're coming into 169.31. Let's call that 170, because 32 yep, ticks yep. is the low of the high of July of 2016. And we're okay. going for it. It's, it it's, yes. I mean, that's just the opposite of the. Yep. 
you know, like looking at that yield for sure. Yes, definitely, but right, right there. That's that's the thirty, and so when we look at this, let me just see this for a second. So a thirty year, if you want to go to give the, you, they get paid one point nine two right now on a thirty year bond. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It is. And you know, again, if you're looking to refinancing, yeah, there's obviously, oh, yeah. obviously the chance that rates continue to drop, but you can always refinance. That's the thing. You know, exactly. I mean, if they if they go to zero, well, you, you can always refinance a point and a half below where we're at right now because you got the 10-year at about 1.5. Um, you can get out there and get a 30-year mortgage at about 3.5 percent. So depending where you are, you yes. know, if you're sitting at 4.25. Uh, give your lender a call because sometimes, especially go if you go with your current lender, right. it can be a pretty expedited process. Yes. You know, and then you have to figure out, do you want to push it back out to a 30-year, right? What if you've already paid it off for six, seven years? That's, that's right. a decision you have to make. Um, but all some, you can do, that, that's right, because what you can do there, too, you can pay the same amount, right, yes. sometimes, and you might get a 15 or 20 year, right, totally. which is pretty cool. Yeah, you and, know? and a lot of times your lender, especially if you're with a big lender out there, they can, they can just, there's zero risk. They can walk you through that without you putting money out. You know, right. I mean, they can just give you the straight out math. This is where rates are. This is where you're at, especially if you're not taking cash out. Yeah, that's it's right. It's a very simple that's, process most and, of the and, time. And the, and the kicker is, folks, if you don't, you don't have to take cash out. Don't because then it's much. It's not that it's much easier, but then you get a real deal that you're really saving so many years, yeah. and you know that can be your piggy bank too. Exactly. And you know it is oh, your piggy bank well, for, that totally. you have equity in that home. If right. you ever need it, you right. can access it, right. which is always nice because instead of buying a car or a boat right yeah, now, yeah, <laughs> a lot of times you see it, man. In America, especially, nobody has any savings, man. You that's, know, and it's a it's, bummer it's on the intense. on the whole. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what we got to do? We got to tell the story about the insurance. This is okay. So, um, insurance companies, folks, right? Um, you got hit in the parking lot. I got hit in the parking lot, right? Um, and the one I want to tell though is the is the thing about. Why don't we do it at the break so how, we can get our thoughts? Yeah, together. like how many people don't even have the extra five hundred dollars? Oh yes, I see what you're talking okay. about. So to, to, yeah, when um, when. When people get in accidents, just right. in, and we've both been in small fender benders recently, and depending on whose fault it is, right. right, you have a deductible no matter what. And just in talking to insurance people, they had said that a majority of people don't have the $500 deductible to pay it. Now, let's say you get in an accident, right. you have just your own car, you hit a tree, you have $2,500 in damages. You pay a $500 deductible, yep. they cover the other $2,000. Right. You get your far car fixed for $2,500. Most people don't have the $500 deductible, so they just have the insurance cut them, the remainder check, don't get their car fixed. That says a lot, unfortunately. People don't have it. And we'll finish it up. That's unfortunate yep. because most of the time, it's not a true value no. of what it would cost to fix. So the insurance company is making out like bandits, right? Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's uh, down 325. Nasdaq's up 61. S&Ps are off 20. And, um, yeah, so the insurance part of it is pretty amazing because yeah. they only get the check for what the assessment. Well, That's, well, the, the first the appraisal, appraisal yeah. of the damage. So not, if not, anybody's been in an accident, yeah. you know that whether it's Progressive, Geico, they come out, they say, you got an offender bender. Yeah. We'll pay $800 to fix it, right. right? So if you have a $500 deductible, yeah. insurance is really only paying $300. Exactly. Right? Well, guess what? Really, the cost is going to be $1,900, okay? But they go to wherever you drop the car off. Yep. The, the repair shop says, well, listen, you said it's going to be this. You said it's going to be that. We're actually going to have to take the quarter panel off. We're going to have to take the hood off. We have this labor. The paint needs to be mixed with metallic. We have to do this. It's going to be $1,900. So if you never get your car fixed and access the true value of the repairs and you can't pay the deductible, insurance will tell you, well, we'll cut you. The remainder of our check will cut you three hundred dollars. You don't have to pay anything out of pocket, but if you like, that. and you just drive around with a dented car, unfortunately. Right. So it goes both ways, as it's really unfortunate. Number one, you don't have the money to pay your deductible, which is a bummer because you're never going to get the true value. You're paying for that insurance to access that value in the event you need it. Right. And insurance makes out like bandits because really they should be on the hook for if it's eighteen hundred dollars. Minus the 500, they should be paying $1,300 to fix that car back up to a new vehicle. And meanwhile, they had said, unfortunately, most people don't have the $500, so they opt to say, just pay me out the difference. And I believe you still have the option when you do that for a period of time to bring that vehicle in, maybe. I'm okay. not sure of that, okay. right? Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, people don't do it because the moment you do it, I, and I'm not certain of that. You might not. No, you no, might, I, I'm not certain. I can see. I can have, see that why they do it. Instead of paying out 500, they get 300 and a 500. And it it's, depends what it is, right? Yeah. If it's a tiny little debt, you can live with it forever. You don't really care about yeah. it. Not the end of the world, right? right? But many times, I imagine it's unfortunately a dent the size that you really don't want to oh, drive yeah. around with. Right. And, um, and but it's a statement to the economy. It's a statement to people's savings. Right. You know, it's a statement oh, to the financial yes. well-being of most people. No which doubt. Is a bummer. Yeah. No doubt. So let's go take a look at, uh, you know, we're just talking about the silver market. And, you know, you got Great Panther Silver just can't catch a bid. Um, so gr what Great Panther had done, folks, is that they did a secondary at 75 cents uh, about a month ago now. Okay, secondary offering. Yeah, so that pushed some more, you know, stock into the marketplace. Yep. What I thought was kind of strange about it really is that, okay, they haven't been moving anyway with the marketplace and it's like okay do you really need that extra money well evidently they do and you know whatever there's something that's not quite right here that's for sure you know now i suspect it was still going to go up to this uh, 98 cents because that that's some strength okay but it needs a couple signs of strength man and uh, it doesn't have it on the day you, you got know? silver at 19 bucks exactly. right exactly you got great panther trading it where it was in april right it doesn't make a lot of sense. No. And then, you know, so if we, it's not the, that's not the only one either. Hecla, you know, this has been a mess. Oof. You know, this it's thing. It's actually underwear it was in April. Yeah. I mean, 
you know. Look at that slide so, from 16. Oh, my it, goodness. Isn't that wild? I know. You know, so. If you want to talk about an easy downtrend to recognize, man. Yeah. No, just the opposite would be First Majestic. <laughs> Now this is a silver company. Look at the, the difference. Yeah. This went from 549 to 1147. And you know, you, you, this this is going after. Now this is a much higher volatile stock. There's no doubt. It's going it's going after this high. Look at it, it's just starting to get into the lows of the high. But that was know. quite a month from 1915 to 1193. Oh yeah, that that last high in 2016. Once we reached that high, it came off that high and accelerated that's you know the bottom line uh if you're in that metals market folks that's how they trade man um, yeah. you know we're in a one-way trade now oh i know what i want to bring up so i had this in the gold report the etfs yes so check this you. out this is a big deal folks so in the etf market in july and august the etfs all the etfs combined now across the united states across the world actually they bought 150 tons of gold in July and August. In, oh no, June and July. And June as you talk July, about it, I'll try and yeah. pull it up as well yeah. to get the exact thing you had June, that. June and July, it yes. was 150 tons. In August alone, they bought 101 tons, okay? So this is the typical chicken and egg deal that when they, it's great when people are buying the ETF, because as soon as they buy the ETF, the ETF has to buy physical gold yes. in order to keep the net asset value. They have to have the underlying reserves, Exactly. Right? Yeah. Now, as soon as that happens, of course, what ends up happening is that gold goes up, and then the equities are going to go up. The real kicker is always, okay, when does that number turn, or when does it go flat? Bottom right nine right now, it is basically going up pretty dramatically. Yeah, and so you have it up there. I mean, it's staggering, man. 154.1 tons of gold combined in June and July, and then in August, 101.9. And what I, the number I want to get is that ETF structures now hold 2,453 yeah, 2, tons as of Friday of right. gold, according to Bloomberg. Now. A ton, folks, is 2,000 pounds. Right. So you got 2,400 tons, every ton being 2,000 pounds. Right. And you want to see something that's go. wild, folks? That I remember the day that the first ETF came out, and you're going to be really surprised, depending on how long you've been in the marketplace. Because picture that, that, you know, this is always about supply and demand. Sure. Okay. And there was zero demand inside the ETF structure. The first ETF out there was GLD, November 18, 2004. Isn't that wild? Did the world exist before then? What happened, it's, man? It, it, well, you know, it's so funny because I remember when this was coming up, and I was I was psyched because I said, okay, they got to buy it. Greater access to the markets with right. greater demand across the board. Right. Yeah. And and what happens is that I was already so used to the XLE, the sure. uh, Qs, the spies, yeah. that you know that. It's, it's, it's cool understanding the, the, the correlation, because the correlation is direct, man. It's as direct as you get. And what you do get is you get the numbers all the time. Yes. You know? Yeah. So, just like those, exactly. Just like those. And that's not even talking about the, well, in fact, we, if, uh, I'll do that some other time, but those, those numbers there, that's getting higher than many of the whole, uh, many of the countries. That the central banks that own gold. I imagine, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, because it's, that actually goes. I mean, you just gotta let, let's pull it up. It, I think it, we're looking. We'll pull up a calculator because you multiply twenty four fifty three times two thousand. If you want to know how many pounds, and you're looking at no, yeah, that's right, pounds. Yeah. So then we'll go even one step further, right? So we're looking at. Almost right. 5 million pounds. And not times 28. Times 16. 16 ounces uh, in the pounds, uh, right? That's where you're going? And then you right, want to go right, grams. You're right. going to grams. No, that's we right. can do it the next. Let's no. go all the way down. No. 78 million ounces of gold. In the ETF structures. In the ETF structures. Now, what's gold sitting at right now? 1550. Well, this is, I don't know how the calculator is. We're going to get a lot of zeros here, folks. 1550. You're talking about Is that true? That's the million. That's the billion. 121 billion dollars in value of gold um, okay, in so gold ETFs. This is really cool, man. You know why? Because that's still small. 
Yep. Think about it. I mean, that, and yeah. I always talk about gold yeah. being a yeah. small yeah. market right. 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 compared yeah. to the equity market. You yeah. know what I'm oh, saying? Yes, yes. Yeah. So it has. It's about one eighth of a trillion dollars yeah. right now tied up, and that's just in gold ETFs, though. That yes. doesn't count people who own gold. That that's right. That's oh, just in the ETFs. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that is transforming into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's uh, down 321. Nasdaq's off 61. S&P's are off 18. And uh, we'll switch gears over to Brexit, because <laughs> not the switching gears, but Brexit is on yeah. the table here. So they have a, a conservative over there, I guess, going and sitting with the liberals in their parliament. I guess if that becomes official, you'd have Boris Johnson actually ruling over a minority government. Now, that's not hitting the pound just yet, so I don't know what true effect that's going to have in there. Where were we in the pound? Let's pull it up. But... Uh, Really, the point being, there's going to be a lot of swinging around there's the news a, yeah. here. Um, and you get the pound rallying a little bit back above 120 to 120.98. But early this morning, man, we're down 119.50. Yeah, and, you know, the way the pound's trading, uh, well, <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like it wants to get off that low. But that looked like that last week when it just dove underneath this again. This is pretty intense, man. Yeah. So you broke the low from two weeks ago at 120, yep. hit 119.59. There's going to be news, man. What's it, October 31st? We're in September. Can we go to the news for this and see if anything does pop? But, I mean, we're right around the corner, man. It's uh, right there. 
Yeah, and there's no news coming out just yet. Um, yeah, because we're sitting at 10:55. Yeah, I don't see that news hitting. But they had uh, they had one of the one of the conservatives over there sitting with the liberals, and that if they make that. And it might just be a show. That's what oh, you don't know what's going on. No, you know, no. everything's a show to some degree as they're jockeying for position as that deadline oh approaches. Man, oh, man. you got a lot of different variables out here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, if we go take a look at the NDX, let's just look at the NDX quickly. So the SPY does have volume on the way down today. NDX, you're 11 million. What did we do? We did... 26. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. It'll, it'll have a little it's 11 volume on we got five hours left in yeah. trading. You stay right there, folks. We got um, Fast Market coming up next with Kevin Hicks and his team. Man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Oh, go get him, folks.